Howdy. Uh, today I'm joined with uh, Matt Rock from Chef, who's going to talk to us about Chef Spec. Chef's been a great partner with Microsoft in the area of management, uh, early adopter of PowerShell Desired State Configuration. And today you're going to show us what? Today I'm going to show you Chef Spec. Uh, so for those who um, aren't familiar, Chef Spec is essentially our pester equivalent uh, in PowerShell. This is going to, chef to test our recipes. So we want to make sure that our recipes are correct. Uh, we don't want to run the state on the, on the machine. We don't want to actually run the recipes themselves. We just want to make sure the logic in the recipes are correct. So this recipe is very simple. Uh, I have a, sh a PowerShell script resource, two of them. One has valid PowerShell. The other one has invalid PowerShell. And this isn't really a, necessarily a real-world recipe, but this is going to get the point across because we're going to actually run this PowerShell on Linux. And not only that, but the actual te chef spec test is going to run PowerShell against this to make sure that it's valid. It's going to, so it's going to check the abstract, abstract syntax tree to, to look for specific commands. And it's going to create a script block to make sure it's valid PowerShell. And it's going to do that on Linux. Fantastic. So I'm going to move to my Linux box. and. Um, I'm going to exit out of PowerShell here. And so here I am. I'm in Bash because we actually in, I'm going to invoke Chef Spec from Bash, but it's going to run PowerShell. So this is rather anti climactic. You know, we see dots on the screen. We want it to be anti climactic. Exactly. Though. That's the whole point about automation is you want to eliminate the drama. Precisely, yes. So these dots are good things. Um, the fact that I don't see a lot of text is telling me that, I'm, that there are no errors. And in fact, uh, that's exactly what happened. We have eight examples, which is what we call our tests in our spec, and we have zero failures, which is what you, um, uh, you know, that's, that's the goal. That's great. So, uh, Matt, this is a fantastic example. Again, I think we share a, a vision of wanting to give our customers the ability to do whatever they need to do on whatever platform they want to do it on. So, again, thank you for your partnership. My pleasure.